Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got another great Ask a Ninja that was on our blog at crawlspaceninja.com. And they want to know what's causing that musty smell coming out of that HVAC unit whenever I turn it on. Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to crawl space encapsulation, high humidity, indoor air quality. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunities. We got a great Ask a Ninja from David in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I have purchased a house in the Chapel Hill, North Carolina area that has an unvented crawl space. I will be moving into that house later this year. The inspection report indicated no issues with the crawl space and it is dry. It has the traditional vapor barrier. However, I did notice a musty smell with the AC on during my last visit on the main floor. I would like to encapsulate the crawl space thinking the smell is from the crawl space. Note, the current house has a finished basement and I once owned a house with a crawl space as well. I have obtained several estimates from full encapsulation to redoing the vapor barrier sealing egress points and installing a dehumidifier. My gut says full encapsulation, but not sure, any comments? So just so you know, David, uh, I am a little biased when it comes to full encapsulation because I think that crawl spaces should be fully encapsulated, humidity control, insulated, air seal the subfloor, put in a water management system, if the dirt of the crawl space is lower than the dirt outside, air seal the door, so I'm all in. I think you should do everything, but of course not everyone agrees with me, nor does everyone have the budget to do that sort of thing. So I want to give you some tips about where the smell could be coming from for you to have checked out. So you mentioned that the crawl space was sealed and dry, but I don't believe you mentioned that there's currently a dehumidifier in the crawl space. So one of the things that can happen is that the dry look of a crawl space may not be dry all year. Keep in mind that you could have just gone through winter and the crawl space could have dried naturally because the heat being pushed out by the HVAC unit, the low humidity in North Carolina when it's winter time could have naturally just dried out the crawl space. So whenever the home inspector goes, he's taking a visual snapshot in time and he's looking around, he doesn't see the the ductwork dripping wet and he, you know, there's no standing water on the vapor barrier. So of course he says the crawl space is dry. Now that didn't mean it was dry last summer, uh, which could have caused, you know, even non-visible mold to get started on the joists and inside the ductwork. So I would recommend that you check the humidity in the crawl space and the moisture level of the wood. Okay. Some people get those confused, but the relative humidity should be under 60% we recommend between 45 and 55%, while the wood should be under 20%, but I recommend the drier, you know, around nine to, to 13 to 15% would be better depending on the type of wood there is. So if you have uh, the ability to, to have those inspectors come out and check those wood moisture levels and uh, humidity, make sure everything's dry, that might be where that musty smell is coming from if it's not dry, because as you all know, a wet dog smells different than a dry dog. Well, moisture does affect how things smell. So keep that crawl space dry all year, as I mentioned, by encapsulating it and installing a dehumidifier. The other thing I would encourage you to do is to have someone go and check out the ductwork because even if the crawl space is dry and has been dry for years, it could have infected the ductwork if it was wet at some point, had a mold problem, someone addressed the mold problem, but they didn't address the mold inside the ductwork. So, you know, call a local duct cleaning professional and see if they can come out and clean the ductwork. And I've done a lot of videos about maybe how often you should do that and everything. But in this instance, if you are getting a musty smell whenever the AC turns on, then of course the ductwork itself could have mold in it. And then as the humidity rises or that AC is being turned on, it's just blowing the, uh, the microscopic mold out through the air, which is what's causing you to smell that musty smell. Something else that could be happening is you could have what's called dirty sock syndrome. Now this is a kind of a comical name given to a serious problem uh, that a lot of homes can have whenever moisture is has built up 
inside the con the uh, the condensation coils of an HVAC system. And I've got some data here. According to airconditionerlab.com, the main causes of dirty sock syndrome is the uh, the name of the article. The causes behind the HVAC dirty sock syndrome are moisture and bacteria. If your house is too humid, moisture can collect inside the HVAC system. When dust and dirt get sucked up in the system through the return air as well, then that wet environment creates the perfect habitation for bacterial growth and that bacteria gives off an odor that smells like a dirty sock. So I know you mentioned it was a musty smell, but I just wanted to cover dirty sock syndrome just in case that might also be an issue. Now, since uh, most likely the dirty sock syndrome is caused in the coil area of the HVAC system, in other words, the internal parts of the HVAC system, uh, make sure when you have that duct cleaner come out that it's someone who can uh, perhaps take apart uh, the HVAC system and clean the coils. And if the duct cleaners can't do it, then have your local HVAC professional come out and do a maintenance on your heating and air system. There's a lot more they can do perhaps that the duct cleaners can't. Make sure Freon levels are, are where they're supposed to be. Make sure the coils are clean. Make sure those condensate lines are blown out. A lot of people don't realize this, but if their condensate lines are on the ground coming out of your house, snails like to climb up inside that condensate line which can clog it up. I watch my HVAC guy use the the HEPA or use the shop vac and suck snails out of the condensation line all the time. So if you're into that sort of thing, you can watch your heating and air guy do that to clean out the condensation line. So anyway, I'm Michael Church. Hope that information helps you. Uh, I'm with Crawl Space Ninja and I hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.